Hello, welcome to this short tutorial. In this brief tutorial, I would like to demonstrate how you to convert your notebook, that is your collab notebook, into a PDF. Let's down my time. Let's jump into it. So let's say this a sample notebook. And you want to convert this into a PDF. First of all, the most important thing you have to do is that you have to make sure that you have this notebook inside your content drive. When I say content drive, I mean this very drive over here. When I click on this icon, it should be here. So the easiest way to do that is to download this notebook and just re-upload it. And it will place it in the content drive for us. So currently when you run this LS, we have only the sample data in the content drive. And that's not what we want. We want the notebook itself to be found here. So let's quickly download the notebook. It's called projects. We we'll go to file, download. We have the down, the book downloaded. Okay, it's downloaded now. So I go to upload. That is this button over here. I click on the same drive icon. I click on this upload button here. And that's how I'm going to upload it for my computer. So the file is called projects, does this, I upload it. Okay, good. Now, once you have it uploaded, we are good to go. Now let's inspect our current directory. So you can see we have both project and the sample data here. And that is good. We can now go ahead to the rest of the code. So we run the following cells. It's just a cell. Let's say this is just part of your notebook. But the next major cell I want you to run is this one, this very one. So let me put some, make a note here. Okay. Run the cell below to install. So later on you can read on what each of these packages is doing, but in order to save time, I won't do that. So this code here is just to suppress the errors. If you run the cells without this code that I've highlighted, you're actually going to have errors, or let's say the locks of this, these installs you're gonna do. It will appear in a notebook and we don't have, we don't want our notebook to be cluttered with all of that noise. So let's run this cell over here. So let's take note of something. The notebook we are converting, it is here in the content drive and it's called project with the capital P. That's what you must make sure that whatever name you give to your uploaded file, you must make sure that name tallies here. If you use my project, make sure that my project appears here and to be the same name you have here. So you can realize that the same name I have here, that's the same name I also have here. When, of my uploaded notebook. And also the name you want to give to your PDF after it is done with the conversion, that's what you put here. So you can choose any random name at all, but make sure that you just end it with a .pdf extension. I chose to use my notebook to be the name of the completed conversion. You can choose any other thing you want. And this code here is to just download the converted notebook for me. Since I named it my notebook.pdf that's why i'm downloading my notebook.pdf so whatever name you, you want for your pdf put it here make sure that you have the same name here and whatever name you have for your collab file make sure that that same name goes here so that's just what i want to point out to you okay we are good to go let's run the cell so python takes over the conversion for us Okay, I'm facing an error. So what is saying that it cannot find my notebook.pdf. You only when you have an error, make sure that you've also run this line here. Some errors are taken care of by that particular line. If it doesn't go away, then it means the way we've done our naming is a problem and we have to look at that. Okay, it still cannot find the file. 
So let me check the name in the game. Okay. Okay, I think I see this shouldn't be here. Let me remove that. So let's continue. So I'll make sure I add the code to the description so I don't make any errors like I just made. So as you can see, the conversion was completed successfully. And over here, it automatically downloads it. So when you go into downloads, you have your file there. If you don't see your file, it will still be here. You can download it manually from here, but the code automatically downloads it for you, but you can still do it manual. Click on download, and then you have your file downloaded. So you can Okay. I think my IDM is expired, but hey, you can just go to your downloads and you'll find the file there. No need to waste time with this. So let's go to our downloads and inspect the file. So downloads. And that's the file over there. Okay, so this is our file. You can have multiple downloads. Let's say if I wanted to name my PDF, let's say, let's say what? Downloaded file. I'll just make sure that I have the same name here. And I just run my cell. That's a conversion automatically downloads for you. You go to your downloads folder, it will be there. And then you are good to go. You've converted your Google Collab file into a PDF, ready to be shared. Okay, so we have it here, downloaded file or PDF. You can still go to your downloads and you find it there. Okay, you see here, downloaded file or PDF. So you see it? You have your PDF here, downloaded for you. Okay. You're good to go. Try it out and let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this? Thank you.